Hi, I'm Margie from Homestead, and we're going to talk today about skylight shades. There are two ways to cover skylights primarily. One is with the honeycomb shade. The other is with a shutter. Both have four-sided frame constructions which attach right to the skylight opening, and they allows it to open and close even on the sharp angles that a lot of skylights have. So first we're going to talk about the skylight shades made out of honeycomb shades. These are the most common, popular. These are specifically designed for skylights. And um, you have an insulating material and a four-sided track that gets assembled. And basically it's going to act like a insulator. So a lot of times your room is very hot because all of this extra light and heat coming in through the top. This will definitely help with the heat issue and make your room more energy efficient. There are different operating systems that lift and lower these shades. The first is a manual type where in this case here we have our sky lift system which you would attach your little pole to this little crank handle here and it raises and lowers the shade uh, manually. The other would be on a remote control where there would be a motor inside the rail and that would operate it from a distance because it is a little difficult to reach. So your, your pole and your motor are the two ways to operate these. So one of the cool things with the Hunter Douglas PowerView app is that you can operate your skylight shade just by lifting and lowering it right on your screen. So this is a great way to really control what you want when you want. But you can also set timers. And this will allow the shade to go up and down during those key parts of the day when the sun is particularly hot automatically. So you don't have to think about keeping your room cool in the summer or keeping it warm in the winter. You can just set those timers and your temperature is regulated. And for those of us who have smart homes, you can control your shades with the use of Alexa or Google Home. So as far as the honeycomb fabrics, there are many different textures and colors to choose from. Also opacities. So what you're looking at here is a light filtering fabric. This will still allow light to come into your skylight because that's the whole goal, right? But it's also going to be energy efficient at the same time. You can also choose to get an opaque fabric. See this foil here, it prevents the light from coming through. So these three veins here you can see in a bedroom or a room that you really want to make the room dark, you can do that with the use of this blackout fabric. So that brings us to shutters. So the shutters are great because you can louver them and keep them in a certain position. Obviously, if it's on a skylight and it's high up, you're probably going to want to set one position and leave it that way because it's not going to be easy to operate without the use of a pole to move these shutter louvers. What's nice about it is that, again, you have a four-sided frame construction, which allows it to fully attach to your angled ceiling. Um, and then you can always open it to clean your window uh, or to maintain cleanliness of the shutter itself. And that's really all there is to it. So maintenance for these is pretty much basic. You can do some seasonal dusting to either one of these. Um, you might want to keep the dust out of the tracks, just to make sure that it's operating smoothly. Um, and then last but not least is the battery life. So um, once a year, you may have to get on a ladder and change the battery or charge the rechargeable batteries, um, but it should last you about a year, maybe even more depending on how often you operate it. So that concludes our Skylight discussion today. For more information, give our showroom a call at 631-423-5782.